the Palace of Justice in Nuremberg, Germany. After the end of the Second World War, trials are held inside this building. Almost 200 defendants are held responsible for 12 years of dictatorship, waging wars of aggression and mass murder. The International Military Tribunal is the centerpiece, the first of its kind on legally and morally uncharted territory. On November the 20th, 1945, 20 surviving leaders of Hitler's Third Reich are transported by elevator directly from the prison block into the courtroom. Hermann Göring, Hitler's designated successor, is the highest ranking defendant, the face of Nazism. Göring said, everybody knows this whole trial is not a trial. This is just an arrangement where the victors uh, will take revenge on the defeated. The tribunal charges fanatical ideologists and unscrupulous ministers, infamous propagandists, and merciless generals. The defendants never showed the slightest remorse. It was part of their stolz, their pride, to insist that they were right all the time and would do it again. The American chief prosecutor, Robert Jackson, is determined to convict these men as living symbols of racial hatred, terrorism, and violence, and of the cruelty of power. My father saw it as a possibility to make a contribution to international law, and thereby, perhaps, to international peace. Convictions were by no means certain. You must put no man on trial, Justice Jackson has warned, if you are not willing to see him freed if not proved guilty. In the Nuremberg courtroom, before the eyes of the world, the victorious allies attempt to stay the hand of vengeance and follow a difficult and uncertain path to justice. ...against the peace of the world imposes a grave responsibility that four great nations flushed with victory and stung with injury, stay the hand of vengeance and voluntarily submit their captive enemies to the judgment of the law is one of the most significant tributes that power has ever paid to reason. The Führer has us wieder wehrhaft weil er sein Volk und die Sicherung Deutschlands an Gast You must plead guilty or not guilty. Ich kenne mich im Sinne der Anklage nicht schuldig. <lacht> 